I just finished meeting my agency. They were so nice. I met two of my agents. I don't know if anyone else uses like under eye patches and has the same problem, but this is annoying. Happy Wednesday. I am back home in North Carolina. If you guys have been keeping up with my channel, you know that I signed with a new agency here in North Carolina. I'm so excited about it. It's been a long time coming, but today I'm finally going to meet them. So I'm going to stop by the office in Greensboro. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive, so not too bad, but as someone who despises driving, that seems like a long time to me. So I'm gonna go meet the team, take some new digitals. Um, it should be a pretty quick meeting, like no more than an hour, and then come on back home. For my new models out there, it's so important to be able to meet your team in person if possible. I think since COVID, so much stuff has just translated um, to being virtual completely, but it's always nice to have that face-to-face -face human touch in-person interaction whenever you get the opportunity so as soon as I landed in North Carolina I was like all right let me get on the schedule to try to get to the office so I can meet everyone in person shake some hands exchange some hugs and hopefully develop a solid working relationship so that's the whole goal when you sign with a new agency you want to have a solid relationship with your team with your bookers with your agents um, because it'll just make your career easier down the road and it's always nice to just have those have people in your corner rooting for you and supporting you and I feel like it is easier for someone to support someone they've actually met in person. Also, I've only been here for like a week and a half, almost two weeks, and I'm already noticing the difference between like the North Carolina market and the New York market. We are here! Alright guys, so I just finished meeting my agency. They were so nice. I met two of my agents. Like I said, the North Carolina market is definitely panning out to be very different from the new york market just like the pace of things the way they want you to pose the way they want you to smile it's just very different from like what i'm used to in new york it is going to be an adjustment but i'm super excited i'm up for the challenge and i'm ready to take on the southeast market i'm really hoping and praying that the clients like me and they like my look for the longest time i didn't really know if i would perform well in the southeast market because of my haircut it's a little bit more edgy and the southeast is like more commercial obviously predominantly white and you don't see a lot of women with short haircuts but when i was talking to my agents here um they pointed out that although i have an edgy look i have an amazing smile and that is what i that's gonna be my money maker pretty much here so i really just need to do some more test shoots more smiley commercial test shoots which i have coming up cheers to new journeys cheers to new markets and cheers to just continuing to grow as a model and scale my career. The last time I was modeling in the North Carolina market, I had a head full of hair and was really just doing the bare minimum to get my face out there. So now that I've had experience working in New York, booking clients, getting in magazines, doing all that, coming to North Carolina where it's definitely a slower pace and I may not be working as much as I'm working in New York, um, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be an adjustment, but I am, I'm ready for the journey. I'm just ready for a fresh start. I don't really have much going on for the next few days, but I do have to fly back to New York for work. So of course I'll bring you guys along for that, but that's not until Sunday. So I'll probably see you guys on Sunday. Okay, the thing about North Carolina is this is my second time getting on camera and like being in my car. I drive everywhere. It is absolutely obnoxious. I hate driving. New York has spoiled me with the public transit. That sounds like such a weird thing to say if you guys know what the mta system is like oh gosh it's hot but if i turn on the freaking ac it's gonna drown me out look how massive this and there's like a pool section over there that i'm not gonna go to today but it's just massive like look at this my hot yoga literally the most intense class 
I'm about to go back home, but I just wanted to check out the pool area and stuff because I had never been out here. I'd only been in like the workout area and like the fitness rooms. But I love this location. I swear the gyms in the suburbs are like 10 times better than the gyms in the city. They're just like much larger scale. City. It feels so good to be back. I was talking to my mom the other day and I was kind of rethinking my decision to sublet early. Like I wish I had just stayed in New York for the three months up until leaving for Australia. Um, it's been, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. It's been great to spend time with my family and my dog, um, but I just feel like, I don't know, my FOMO kicks in whenever I'm in North Carolina and I just feel like I'm missing out on a lot of potential opportunities um, that I could have taken advantage of had I been here in my own apartment in my own space But you know what? I made a decision already um, So kind of like my mom said I just have to make the best of it I am about to head to a shoot my call time was originally 7 a.m Which was gonna be killer because my flight didn't get in until like 10 and then I didn't get here until like 11 um, so yeah, I would have been exhausted, but at the last minute my booker texted me and told me that my call time was switched to 9 a.m. Which gave me enough time to actually fully wake up, do a little skincare routine, and just feel like my best self. So, feeling good this morning, and the good thing is that the studio that I'm shooting at today is only like 15 minutes from my current place. So, it's been a smooth morning. It's been a smooth morning. Okay, the body is giving. It's giving core. Happy Tuesday. I did not check in with you guys after leaving set yesterday because it was a full day. I literally did not wrap until 9 p.m. So as soon as I got home, I showered and went straight to sleep. I was so tired, but it was a good set day. They really had me working. They really had me earning my check yesterday. So I didn't get much behind the scenes because I was really just on the go the whole time. I don't know when it's going to be released, but keep an eye out for my face. If you see me before I do, definitely send it to me. I have just been working from the bed. It is now going on like 11 a.m. I mean, it's a little bit rainy outside and I didn't bring an umbrella, so I've been trying to avoid the outdoors, but I'm getting hungry and there's nothing to eat in this place so I'm gonna go try to find a bagel or something I may have dinner reservations tonight I'm waiting for the restaurant to get back to me because they invited me to come have dinner in exchange for like posting content so um, yeah I'm waiting for them to see if they have any availability tonight and if so that's what I'll be doing but I'm I think I'm just gonna try to stay inside today because it is like gloomy out and I didn't really bring any heavy jackets or an umbrella and I'm not trying to get sick, so. Six hours later. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, it's Ashley. Ah, oh, I love seeing people that I recognize on ads all over New York. Wednesday. Mind your business, please. I'm out and about early this morning. I'm heading to check on my storage unit, just to make sure everything is still good and dandy. Then I am going to get my eyebrows done. I literally have the most watery eyes known to man. I think it's my SPF. Every time I wear sunscreen, my eyes are just super watery once I come outside. I just feel like I look really crusty. I'm not feeling my best self, honestly, full transparency. I have not been feeling like my best self. So when my eyebrows are done, I have a fresh haircut and my skin is clear, that is when I feel my most beautiful. So right now my eyebrows are not done. I don't have a fresh cut and my acne is still out of control. So I definitely don't feel my most beautiful, but 
And uh, you know, it is what it is. When I go back home to North Carolina, I think I'm gonna try to find a dermatologist there because the dermatologist that I've been seeing here in New York is just not doing it for me. The only thing that like significantly cleared up my acne was getting a, chemi a chemical peel, but now it's too hot to get a chemical peel. Um, so I have to wait until next fall or winter. anymore in New York so really I could have gone home yesterday since I only worked on Monday oh, I just feel so freaking itchy I feel like I need to take a whole nother shower like what is going on but I am going to a concert in Washington DC on Friday or I'm supposed to be going to a concert on Friday uh, so I figured I would just stay the whole week in New York um, and then go to DC for the concert and then leave from DC and go back home to North Carolina I feel like I just need sleep I need a nap or something something is off I mentioned to you guys earlier that I was not feeling the best, mostly because of the way I look. And I was watching a TikTok creator the other day and she said, the worse you look or the worse you feel, the better you should look. The worse you feel, the better you should look. And right now I'm living out of a suitcase. So there's only so much that I can do because I feel like the outfits that I bought are were not like... I didn't bring like super upscale outfits, even though I like I typically dress up, but I just wanted to make sure everything fit in my suitcase for this week. Um, so I didn't bring anything super extravagant and um, I don't have a fresh haircut and I did get my eyebrows done and I thought that that would help, but my eyebrows are actually like thinning out. So there's like a few like bald patches in my eyebrows. So that just made it, that made me feel even worse, honestly. So now I'm going to try to like grow them out for a month or two before I get them done again. But also, I learned that when I'm not feeling my best, I spend money. And that is a problem because you guys know I'm like frugal franny. I live a nice life, but I am I live a nice life because I'm frugal franny. So I was not feeling the best. So I think I spent more than I normally would if I were in like a normal state of mind. Back to the original topic. I'm going to a concert on Friday. And so I bought another outfit for the concert, which I didn't even really need to do. I didn't need a new outfit. But again, I'm not feeling the best, so I bought one anyway, thinking it would make me feel better. If you guys are familiar with Soho, there are a couple of stores that like sell things for cheap comparatively to like Zara and Aritzia and maybe Guess. Those are the, like the stores that are nearby. But there are like these $7 stores and just like other like random stores along, um, along Broadway. And so I went to one of them expecting to find like a cheaper dress. I spent more than I should have on this dress. To most, it's probably still cheap, but this was a $28 dress that should have been like $5. This dress would be like maybe $10 on Shein, but it's literally just like a skinny bodycon. I haven't even tried it on because this store doesn't, doesn't have dressing rooms. Well, it has dressing rooms, but it doesn't allow you to try things on. And I hope that it fits. I hope it snatches me because they didn't have any extra smalls in this store. It was just like small through large. Uh, so yeah, I got this. And then I was like, well, I need shoes to go with this dress because I don't want to wear flats. I want to wear heels, but I want to wear comfortable heels since I'm going to be standing for hours. Did I need a new pair of heels? No, I didn't because I specifically packed my black chunky heels that I know I can stand in for hours. I specifically packed those for the concert. Did I still buy a new pair of shoes? Yes, I did. So I'm actually contemplating taking these back because I, I have shoes that I could wear to the concert and I didn't need these. But I tried them on and the store manager was just so nice and it looked so good on my feet. And I just felt like I wanted to treat myself in hopes of making me feel better. I got these. They're cute and they're cute on my feet. And I've always been intrigued by like the heels that have like this little whoop de whoop swoop de doop thing going on. So yeah, I got these for like Retail 138 plus tax, I think I spent like 150 on these, which I feel like to the average American, $150 for a pair of shoes is probably not that expensive. Like I definitely have shoes that are worth way more than that. So I'm gonna try on the entire outfit tonight when I get back with this shoe and with the shoe that I already have. And if the shoe that I already have looks just as good, then I'm gonna return these and get my money back. Speaking of spending too much money, I'm about to meet my friend back in Manhattan. 
um, we are going for tea, like a little tea party. I'm so excited. I was just scrolling on Instagram before I flew into New York and I stumbled upon this um, new tea shop in Manhattan uh, where basically you get like three tiers of pastries, desserts, and like savory. And then you get like your choice of teas all for $35. So I posted it on my Instagram story and I'm like, oh my God, like who wants to go? And originally I was just gonna go by myself, but one of my friends hit me up and she was like, I'm down. So we are gonna do that. And I'm super, super excited. I don't know where that Southern accent just came from. guys happy thursday i know that i probably look exhausted it's because i am it is five o'clock in the morning and i'm up bright and early i got requested for a shoot yesterday and so i just had to send in a quick um basically compilation of all the workouts that i know how to do so i'm about to head to um, lifetime in Dumbo just because it's the closest one to where I am now. I woke up this early just because I wanted to try to catch the gym when it is not as crowded so that I can officially been back in New York for like a week now but today I must bid New York adieu. I'm about to head to Penn Station because I am taking the train to DC. It's about three hours so not too long. I'm probably just gonna sleep the whole way because um, it was storming last night and so I woke up around like three or four and couldn't go back to sleep so I'm um, definitely gonna use this time to catch up on my sleep but yeah I'm gonna spend the weekend in DC. We are going to Oh, we're going to a concert tonight. I totally forgot. I, I don't know why I was thinking it was yesterday, but, or tomorrow. I need sleep, y'all. I probably look so sweaty and shiny right now, but I am just taking a little stroll through DC. It's like the suburbs, you guys. I'm in the suburbs. I'm definitely not in like downtown or anything, but it is so beautiful out here. It's so peaceful. You hear the birds chirping. I love it. It's definitely a vibe. It's not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. I think I was getting in my head a little bit and was just not in the best mood. So I was like, let me take a little hot girl walk. Oh, you can see my deodorant. <sighs> but yeah, I was just like, let me take a little hot girl walk, clear my mind. Just got off the phone with my friend and she definitely made me feel a lot better. I am just like the queen of overthinking and overthinking myself into a bad mood. I'm like, you're in DC. You're about to see Lionel Richie. Like, there's literally nothing to be upset about or frustrated about or stressed about. Like, girl, life is good. So sometimes you just gotta walk it out, talk it out, um, and do whatever you need to do to get yourself in a better mood. So that's what I'm doing. The AC would come on just as I start recording, but the lighting in this hotel room is so weird. I'm standing right in front of the window and it still looks like It's the wind for me. <laughs> guys, happy 
happy Saturday. I'm officially about to head back to North Carolina. You guys, we had a time last night, okay? My camera's about to die, but Lionel Richie was amazing. We did a boat ride before going to the concert, which ran a little bit over time. So we ended up missing Earth, Wind & Fire, which I am devastated about, but Lionel Richie was a show in itself. Like it was amazing. Literally did not get back to the hotel until like 2 a.m. Right now I'm gonna go downstairs and try to find some breakfast before I head to the train station. And um, I'm starting to cramp a little bit, so I feel like it may be that time of, well, I know it's that time of the month, so I need to go try to find some feminine products before I get on this train. I'm taking the train back to North Carolina as opposed to taking the uh, flight because the last minute flight was like almost $300 and my train ticket was $60, so it was a no-brainer. I have nothing to do. I'm in no rush to get back to North Carolina, so I'll take a small train ride. I actually love the train rides. I get like the best sleep there. Just a pretty girl. I'm more than just a picture. I'm a daughter and a sister. 